got a Saturn Aura 2009 here and it has a 6040 transmission or 6045 40 it's pretty much the same and the customer took this to the dealer and he wants the output speed sensor change and he wanted the input speed sensor change um, the dealer mentioned that his output speed sensor was bad so what happens when you're driving the speedometer stops working when it stops working it stops shifting and then it, it sporadically start working and sometimes it will stop stop shifting so what we're going to do I'm going to show you this transmission now here's a 6T40 transmission here on the back part of it this is a the input speed sensor it goes in here and comes out and around here and goes in and hooks inside this part which hooks inside a computer that's inside of this uh, cover behind that cover now that computer also sits on top of the valve body and inside the computer is also the output speed sensor circuit or connector and the output speed sensor sits on the opposite side of the valve body or behind the valve body the customer took the transmission to as I mentioned the vehicle to the dealer and he told him he needed an output speed sensor so he asked us uh, how much was it to put an output speed sensor and put the input speed sensor on and I gave him the price that was just the labor price to put it in because the dealer had already diagnosed the situation um, that's if he brought the parts he brought the parts and brought the wrong parts after we had it disassembled we saw that the parts were the wrong parts so um, I ended up getting the right parts and proceeded in putting them on as he wanted them to be put on however after putting those parts on he took the vehicle and he drove it and then he called me back and said he's doing the same thing same thing I didn't know what the same thing was until now I'm telling you what it was you know obviously because I did it took it for a test drive only thing in the beginning I knew is that he wanted the output and the input speed sensor changed um, so that's what we did well since I got the parts his um, um, rebuttal was that the parts that I put on may have been faulty so he brought some parts from the dealer and wanted me to do the same job again I'm not um, a person that likes to do the same thing over and over for nothing so what I am going to do is going to do some testing um, as you saw that output, the out input speed sensor which is right there um, right in here it's, it's, uh, it's some insulation but there's two wires in there what I'm going to do is cut this insulation pull these two wires apart and test that input speed sensor if that input speed sensor is working then that's not his issue okay already we knew his input speed sensor was working anyway he had an output speed sensor code but I'm not again a person that likes to be changing things for nothing so I'm going to test that and see what it's doing number two I'm going to test the output speed sensor now this is going to be kind of an undertaking on the vehicle because the output speed sensor sits underneath the valve body in here so what I'm going to have to do I'm going to have to take a cover take the cover off tie into the output speed sensor circuit which I believe is sitting up this right here I think it's sitting on this corner of the pan drill a hole through the cover and bring some wires through here and bring it out and test it and when the car stops working or when it stops shifting the speedometer stops working 
I'm going to see if that output speed sensor is still working because what happens is the output speed sensor sends the signal to the computer the computer sends the signal out over the CAN data line okay so if I intercept where it's going into the computer and I still see it reading but it stops shifting and stops sending the signal then that's going to mean that the computer is not sending it over the CAN data line which means that he has a faulty computer I will find out like I said it's an undertaking but I'm going to do something here I'm going to test this and make sure okay so we're going right back to that Saturn Aura alright here is that Saturn Aura and we're checking the input speed sensor and you can see that it is working Okay, just raise the gas. Press the accelerator. More. Okay, stop. Okay, uh, let me see if this is off the ground. Okay, put it in gear. All right, so it stopped reading. Okay, now put it in drive and let the wheels turn. Is the speedometer working? Yeah. Okay. Stop. Again. Go ahead, put it in drive. Go. Okay, put it in uh, park. All right. So, you can stop it. Got to. I want on the video too. Uh, <laughs> you wanted a video. Yeah, <laughs> there's a long haired helper. This is your way back. All right, so we had the inputs. <laughs> The input speed sensor is working, so therefore there is no need to change that. Now what's going to be more involved is getting inside here to take that cover off and get to the output speed sensor and try to get the same signal while I am driving. Um, so all this stuff is going to have to come out and somehow I'm going to have to do something in here. But I am going to do it. I'm going to do it. All right. I'm going to take all this apart. Once I get it set up, then we will check to see if the output speed sensor is working.